Um, hello everybody. I just woke up and I'm uh super groggy and tired. And, um, why? What time did you go to bed? Pretty early. I'll be honest with you. Um, I went to Dumbfounder's birthday party last night. Mm-hmm. Who was there? Just me and Jean and Aquafina and Anderson Park. Ooh, Ooh, fancy Asians. The fancy, fancy Asians. The mix yeah. and the fancy. And then um, it took four hours because, <laughs> you know, how the food comes out slowly. And then I came home and I was like, should I eat a pizza? But it's too greasy. And then um, I started watching movies, old movies again to get, get my spirits high. Which ones? I saw Sexy Beast again. Is that one with um, um, Sir Ben Kingsley? That's right, pal. And he's so good in it. What a great movie. I think what happened was they showed me, um, my depression started when um, they sent me a screenshot of the opening. Um, they did a screen testing for Drugstore June because it's at the Ch- Man Chinese Theater tomorrow night. That's right. I'll be there. And the, my head is so big. <laughs> Bigger than mine. Oh, man. Probably twice the size. I mean, it is the Ch- Man Chinese. It's a big screen, but um, <laughs> it's like a mongoloid. Gigant- like it's the opening shot. Yeah, my Downsy Mongoloid head. You're the opening shot of the film. Yeah. I just want to say I really feel as though your big head has served you in this industry more than you think it has. Yeah, for headbutting executives. <laughs> I had, but, uh, yeah, I didn't get the part. Pop, pop. Because imagine if you had a little pinhead. I don't think that that would be the look for you. Doop. Um, what are you looking at? What else? What's going on with your heart on the inside? Oh, so dead. So the big head caused the depression. What else? The heart's dead. It's gray and dark. From? Um, I don't know, man. It's just years of just, um, years of just, just existing, man. You just, that heart dies. Love loss. And, um. Who did you lose? You. (laughs) Stop. Mm. Oh, my gosh. (laughs) And that's the biggest heartbreak of my life. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. What are you looking at, man? <laughs> man, you're negative today. <laughs> you're really fucking pushing me today, Look, huh? he's wearing a pink paisley tie. Yeah. Look, man, he's got I two him. kids. He's a dad. I enjoy him. Oh, then we, oh I, with you. You were invited to the dinner last night. Yeah, but I had to take soup to my wife. Well, that's interesting to me because it's like you, she she doesn't have fingers. It's called trying to keep my heart alive. No, no. no. So <laughs> let me ask you something. She doesn't have fingers. She can't go to Postmates and get a soup. She can't. Let me say something, my friend. What right? would you rather have? When the industry, when the Asian industry invites you to a dinner, mm-hmm. okay, you have to go. If you invite me to dinner, to go. If Kalil invites me to dinner, I'll go. I'm with Gilbert on this. I think his wife is number one always and a yeah, priority. She's cool. I like her, man. I've met her before. She's cool, man. She's sick. Uh, a little bit. She's on her. Well, mostly just uh, de- not. I'm not gonna say depressed. Sad. Her dog. It's so died. Uh, no, lost. Mm-hmm. She had to take its eyeball out. A nucleation. Uh, so the ball. The ball. Um. The dog ran into a um, corner. Like a corner, and it's a senior. So dog. sorry. And so they had to enucleate the... It, ooh, 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 it, it, wait, ooh. really quick, guess this. So that happens. The dog's healing for two weeks. The dog can't see, so it flings... It falls off the stairs just randomly. I don't know how... Well, you're missing an eye, of course! So then the other eye can gets hit. And no. They're saying that... You, she, <laughs> what's this really, it's funny, but it's sad. It's like no. the other eye may have to go as well. And this is a span is of it, two weeks. Is it um, swollen and red like the other eye? Yes, and the other uh, vets were pissed at the eye specialist. This is a different place. Uh, oh, my that God. That was like they didn't take care of the other eye because it was susceptible to also getting pierced because it, it was not in the best condition. Oh, my God. So well, of terrible. course you're not going to immediately take out the other eye because it's like if you can save the other eye and it, there's still vision there. A dog with no eyes is... 
No, it, there are quite a few. Or and you know what? They're very Instagram famous. Go ahead. There's a plus. Oh, my family in Wisconsin, they always had a Boston Terrier, and there was one I think called Sprite. Uh oh. That thing got run over by so many, so many trucks and things. Like it was like had no eyes for like the last ten years of its life. Its life, you'd still throw a rock and it'd go run and pick up, grab a rock out in the woods. And yeah. it was the happiest dog ever. That's I what mean, I'm saying. I like, love. Look at them. They do look kind of. Ha- they They're look happy. They're so cute. <laughs> also, can I? Just I love. Plug- this, let, me just say, let me say something real quick, man. I love this segment called "Boring Stories" by George. <laughs> And we should <laughs> we should have Sprite? a segment. Sprite. Right. I didn't find that boring, George. I think and that's also, I learned a lot. Hey, I love it. <laughs> every story is boring with you because I have to like condense it so much. That's right. It's called, so much it's because called, I know I have it's called, you have a seconds. window. You have a window. It's called meat and potatoes. Get to it. How long now, is George's window? You feel like two, three seconds. Jesus. That's what he starts that's talking. Tough. You gotta get to the fucking end. That is really like a true anxiety having to live with Bobby. And if you cannot get your point out in 12 seconds, you lose him. Oh, I get Seven, more nervous eight, if I have nine. a story ready <laughs> here <laughs> trying to figure out how to condense One, it enough that Bobby two, pays attention. Three, <laughs> five. Then at our live shows with Living thousands. like children, dying like dyers. <laughs> now listen, um, uh, numbers one, I'm so sorry about Cindy's, <laughs> your wife's dog. Numbers one. Number, numbers yeah. one, yeah. numbers two. Um, I have a suggestion. Yeah, Get sunglasses, ahead. a piano, and we can put it on the road. <laughs> okay. That's woof, 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 woof. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, put that dog on the road. Now, listen. Yeah. I apologize for that. And that's that's a... That's a, a terrib- lot. That's a lot. And especially because this is a dog who's been with her from the very beginning. And it's her parents' dog, too. I think there is that Asian guilt where her parents left the dog with us, and now the dog could potentially come back to the parents with zero eyes. So there's a little bit of that Asian, like... Yeah, I don't think that that's that right? Asian guilt. I think it's just human guilt <laughs> no. that you're returning a dog with no eyes. Was that Sickler? No, oh, we'll see. He'll text me. Ryan Sickler? How'd he do? You know we, what, we, really... Oh, we have to give him shit, because remember he, he was the one that broke the... The story. The story between you and I. About what? He got basically like a ton of views of the breakup story. Bob. The breakup story, but remember he was the first guy Yeah, that... because you went on his show. How is no, it his he... fault? <laughs> Because he asked me. I know, but that's your fault. He, can't, he doesn't no, want to say no. This is a, what? He you gave him the exclusive. The, no, you got mad. I've got a George is pretty upset. I've got a well, one-sided the, vendetta against him. All right, oh, good. I love Ryan Sickler. Also, he's know, been through a lot does. like the last couple months. What, so just, what like, happened? What happened? He got really sick. He almost, is this the same thing where he almost died? Right? Is that I recently? I thought that was like a couple of last No, that was like a month ago. I've always thought he was dead. It's just he's just been ghosting around but now. Oh, he Is he okay? You should ask him. I think he uh, asked him about the story. He was at the improv. I forgot, forgot what improv, but he basically passed out and had to bring him to the hospital. On screen. I mean, on screen. On backstage. On stage. No, backstage. it was a big deal. He was in the hospital for oh, a while. Oh, I didn't even know about it. Never heard about so it. So don't give know. him shit about you giving him the exclusive. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Do you think we should have gone to People Magazine? Do you think they for would what? have cared about our breakup? No. Don't <laughs> give shit. TMZ, maybe? I don't know. Nobody gives a shit about me. Nobody gives shit about me. Nobody gives shit about me, but you are yeah, great. Right. Now listen, um, I'm sorry. I just I'm now slowly waking up, <laughs> and I realized that yeah. I should be sleeping again. Let me tell you something, all right? You slept early though. This is what happens when he gets too much sleep. Oh, <laughs> the same as when he doesn't get any. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to tell you something about that. Okay. Uh, I want to take that. What's that drug everyone takes? Oh, Zempic. No, the one that, like, um, you fear, see your dad again. You see your dad again. Uh, uh, heroin? No, no, no. <laughs> Cocaine. No, the one that, you, the psychedelic that's from. Oh, mushrooms. Ayahuasca. 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 Everyone's trying to get me to do it. I would be really careful because I've. Through somebody who does a lot, I, I know somebody who does ayahuasca a lot, and it seems as though um, this person is just almost chasing just another um, outer like drug experience. Hey, you're live, huh? Take a while to get Hi. here. Hi, Ryan Sickle. You get a, take a while for you to get here. Oh no, there's something going on. Are you high right now? Hey, too long! Listen to me. How long? Hey, how long? Are you high a little bit? Because we love it when you're high. Yes, I'm high. All right. All right. I brought. And I guess. 
That's why they call it. When I said I guess, you knew what the song was. <laughs> That's not it. It is. Oh, yeah, yeah. There we go. Okay, that part. Time spent with you. Loving what a great song. Oh, wait. I don't want to hear it. I want to hear myself sing. There's another song that I was listening to Ellen John. This one. Blue eyes. Baby's got blue eyes. I you don't know. know that one. Oh, it's so good. I don't know that one either. Yes, you do. I don't Can you think sing so. it some more? Yeah. Well, I don't know. Although I'll try to make up the lyrics then. It starts with blue eyes. Baby's got blue eyes. Mm -hmm. na, 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 na. When she's riding high and I'm on my own. Something like that. Da, na, na. That sounds nice. Close. Blue eyes. Anyway. What? Blue eyes. <laughs> Baby's. Like a, a deep a blue, blue sea. <laughs> oh, a blue, blue day. Hey. Okay, good. Anyway, we have Ryan Sigler from the Honeydew Podcast. Give him a round of applause. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> so funny about that. And also, um, a lot, there's a lot of deceivers and liars in this room because I'll tell you this. Before you got here, they're like, he almost died. I did, though. They're no, right. I know, but not <laughs> recently. Not like 10 Not minutes, recently. Yeah. You said this month. No, I said in the, within the last couple months. No, that was this, how. When was it? It was literally a year ago. A year ago. Now it was. So you want to talk about? But it was a year. You ago? You want to talk about the Civil War and I, Vietnam then too? <laughs> and what the fuck are you talking about? In your defense. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> my lungs and like officially were clear just a few months ago from the clots. My back is fucking. Oh, sorry. Finally, better now. When you say uh, clots, yeah, it seems very dangerous. It but was. we all have clots. <laughs> Let's be honest. No, we don't have clots. You don't you don't want clots. Ah, I, got, I got them. I got the blood bro. clots. Okay, man. let me ask you a question. Yeah. Science question. When a clot dislodges, let's say you have a clot in, oh, in your calf. Oh, Smarty Pants USA. Okay. Here we go. And it dislodges. And then the clot makes its way to your brain. What's that called? A stroke. Okay, now when the clot nice. makes its way to your heart, what's it called? Heart attack. When it makes its way to your lungs? Lung attack. Uh, well, let me, um, I got That's it. It's a hard one. No, no, I got let it. Let me know what that. No, I got it. I got it. Right. It's AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> right? Is that how it started? Is it AIDS? I have AIDS. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, have, you had AIDS in your lungs. Yeah, I'm over it. Pulmonary embolism. Yeah, that's a deep cut. That's a, that's a hard <laughs> one. Yeah, and that's, uh, that's <laughs> it's actually kind of common. It's, it can. It's wild. Like again, all of it. Because I don't want to sit and talk about all this crap. But no, I don't. All of it was preventable. It was the taking. And keeping care of me at the hospital, that was the issue. Not the surgery. It was the way they did nothing for me to move me. And when I was telling right. them, hey, I have a disease where I'll clot. Don't let me lay here. I'm a ticking time bomb. Yeah. Eight days. Oh, you laying there. And I literally sit up and a lady says, Mr. Sickler, you passed your test. You can go home. And I went, boom, on the bed. Oh, my oh, God. God. I'm rotting. She's like, what? They all run in. They say, you could be have a heart attack and clotting. And then I go black. When I wake up, but why did you turn African American then? Right, I started hitting them with the. I started banging the mic on my leg. When I <laughs> stand up, you know, well, getting up out you of my bed and clapping and laughing and stomping. You're the Chappelle. And I wake up, <laughs> and this is what I was telling you out there. They're like, "You're lucky to be alive, and the next 48 hours for you are touch and go, and you should make some calls." So that's when I had to call my daughter's mother and be like, "Hey, who else did you call?" So if you told me, "Wow, that's, I called Segura and told Tommy him. Segura." He called. Nuts. I never got a call. You texted me. Uh, that's right. What did I say? I don't remember. I'm, I don't even think you texted me. I was just helping. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I literally just found about you know, it now. You no, know Joe Coy. Joe Coy, I want to give Joe Coy props. Joe Coy offered to pay for all my medical bills. Which oh, I my God. That was no. Wow. He said, I got the money. I was like, yeah, I know. Yeah, he's got we lots know. of money. <laughs> we know. You got yeah, he's got money. lots of money. He shows me. But I didn't take I go to his it. house. Appreciate the love. He, he has a merch money in a fucking basket. But I will say this. If you want to help me out, this is how you can help me out. Oh, my God. Here go we watch go. my Plugging special. up front. Yep. My special. It's called Lefty Son. It's my dad who gave me this blood disease. And... Um, my goal was a million views. Two weeks in, I'm at 550,000. Mm. YouTube comes wow. back and says, never mind. And they demonetize it. Why? Ooh. Ugh, of course, because it's They YouTube. didn't say. It's the same thing we all go through. I appeal it. They say, well, we've, we've looked at it. And it's, so now you have to go find it. But since the two weeks at 550, what am I at now? 
almost 850. 840, oh my yeah. God. I mean, Let's that's get it over the line, guys. My goal was a million, and I don't want your money. I don't want, look, I self produced it. I directed it. My friend Sam Vaughn edited it. I was on my back in the hospital dying, making notes on this dumb thing here. And then YouTube demonetizes. I'm like, what do you got to do, die? So I want to get a million views, and not for months, I don't get paid off of it anymore. So if I get a million views, which I was on my way to getting, it will just tell me that people like what I'm doing and I should do more of it. That's it. That's well, also, 800,000 should also give you that. You I know, mean, that a million. People like what you're doing. That's, it's, that's a good number, especially after being pulled out of their algorithms and blah, blah, blah. And my new podcast, The Way Back, where we sit on an old school station mm -hmm. wagon seat, we look back. Are you old enough, any of you, to sit in? Because I know Bobby is. We're about the same age. How old are you? 50. 52, yeah. We're 51. Yeah, both of you more. guys look amazing. Yeah, you not look 50. Me? No. <sighs> Who looks more 50? <laughs> I would say it was you know, the, the white a, guy over the age. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but four. for a white guy. For, yes. Really, oh, no, really For good. a white guy, dude, nice you're guy. killing it. I got to say this. I'm an Italian-American. The only person in my whole family that wasn't Italian was my dad's dad, which is where Sickler comes from. My mom's full blood on both sides. My dad's mom is full blood. Yeah, but the Italian part that you have. But my mom's skin. Yeah. She looks good. In Just her yeah. And I'm like, I hope I got that. Other 50 year old actors. You guys kind of sit there. No, this well, is what, Andrew Lincoln. Lincoln looks babe. Oh, okay, He's thank you for right showing right. everyone that's doing better than me. At <laughs> I got okay. Steven. I think Seth. I'm better. <laughs> I don't know. I'm no offense, Steve, but yeah, I think yeah. I got you. Even on Seth Green, 50. Wow. Well, how about see if I'm uh, 52 and if I come up? Because if it doesn't come up, <laughs> it, it, let's see. 52, if, 52 year old actors. Do it. Yeah. Mark Wahlberg. Okay, here we go. Go down. Kind of the same. Same. All right, go down. Uh, these are all bigger. Hey, Martin Freeman. There I am! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Look how good you look at 52. <laughs> you look like you're 20. I took that when I was 22. Wait, there is something about 52 year olds yeah. that honestly, look Alphonse? how great everyone looks on the 52 year old. <laughs> Sasha is, and I are the same age. That's crazy. That's insane. Eric, uh, Stone Street. Oh. Congratulations, Joel Stone Street, on the, on the Chiefs winning. The Corey Feldman. He went quantum. Yeah, yeah. yeah, Corey is 52. Uh -oh. oh my God. Tom, there's my boy. Craig, we're all the same age. Benedict Wong. Benedict Wong, my boy. What's up? All right, that's, that's good. I got it. Henry Thomas, though. What a great guy. My wow. friend Carlotta, who Never does met the him. voiceover for The Honeydew, told me a quote one time that I love. and it's, it's well, let, well, let, We have a quote segment. Here we go. Let me all do right, the music. Really? Do you really? Can I do the music? Yeah. DraftKings Casino is bringing you the, only the best classics like blackjack, roulette, and slots, plus exclusive games you won't find anywhere else, man. You know, guys, you know, when I go to the casino, I go to the casino a lot. It's fun, man. I play the blackjack. I do slots, you know, and you can even practice right in DraftKings Casino. Yeah. Right? You can practice. If you're not ready to play with re real money, you can definitely practice. That's what I do. Yeah. Download the DraftKings Casino app now and use code TIGERBELLY. New players get an instant deposit match up to $100 in casino credits when you deposit $5 or more. That's code TIGERBELLY only on DraftKings Casino. The crown is yours. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER at or visit www.1800gambler.net. In Connecticut, help is available for a problem gambling. Call 888-789-7777 or visit ccpg.org. Please play responsibly, 21 plus. Physically present in Connecticut, Michigan, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, West Virginia only. Void in Ontario. Eligibility and other restrictions apply. One per new customer. Must opt in and make minimum $5 deposit within seven days, 168 hours, or registering new account, max. Match $100 in casino credits, which require one-time playthrough within seven days, 168 hours. See terms at casino.draftkings.com slash new player offer 2024. You really? Can I do the music? Yeah. It's quote time. Everybody loves quote time. Inside and out is quote time. Inside Everybody out. loves to listen to quotes from comedians because no one gives a shit. Jeez. <laughs> Good. It's quote time. Everybody. Loves quote. Is this segment sponsored? I don't want to step on any sponsored by things. YouTube monetize. <laughs> <laughs> Demonetization. <laughs> Monetization group. No, and you'll you'll appreciate this. You know what I just realized? We have basically the same color on right now, Bobby Lee. 
How about that? Like, Salmon. What are you trying to say? Um, I'm glad I don't look. No, wait. How's it go? Let me get this right. I'm glad I don't look like what I've been through. That's the quote. Whoa, Clint Eastwood. Look how good you look. Is that what After he all did? He make you've been through. I'm he, not sure who's who made that. It's a great sure. quote. But Clint Eastwood looks like he's he's been. Yeah, he's he been looks through. like what he's been through. Oh, that, oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> can't be Clint. You he look 52. Also, 52 in comedy is like 106 in regular life. But why do you explain, please? Just the living hard, eating garbage, being on the road. You're around. Even if you are clean and sober, you're around alcohol nonstop. You're around temptation nonstop every time you're out. You're not living easy. You're not sleeping great. You're just sitting on planes. You're just getting in Ubers. You know, it's hard to maintain exercise, have a real rhythm, all that stuff. So I feel like it, so. I feel like it's dog years. You know what I mean? Yeah. Puts a little more on us. I can't believe we're still alive. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. You know, God bless God, and you know, God bless God. God. God bless God. Can you do the quote music again and drop that one in the <laughs> segment? Quote <laughs> time. God bless God. Yeah, wow. They what? should put that in that Super Bowl commercial for Jesus. <laughs> yeah. God bless. They God bless that God. Yeah. Um, who, but who created God? Man. Mm. Whoa, it's a cyclical. Yeah, it's cyclical. Well, yeah, we all create each other, huh? I don't think man. Oh, you see, you don't think God's real? No, I don't think the God I learned about is real. I grew up Catholic. I'm but what same. God do you believe in? Same here. I, I mean, my God is love. I, I, I certainly do not believe we're the only thing vibrating on this little rock in outer space. I believe there's definitely something more powerful and bigger than us. But I don't think it's a nameless, faceless entity that understands every language and every feeling that every single tiny cell is having and somehow can manipulate it and create it. Mm. I don't believe that. But I believe even without organized religion, I still believe the overall uh, of mankind would be good people. There'd be a little more disruption, but I don't think it would be like chaos. Wow. Wow. You know what I believe about you and I? Hmm. So last night I was watching some movies because I was depressed. Mm -hmm. well, you never raining. told us which one. Oh, Sexy Beast. So Sexy Beast, but um, I also watch a documentary. I, I watch things over and over again. Mm -hmm. It soothes me. It soothes me. Well, what do you yeah. think that is? What? Like he'll watch all seasons of The West Wing thirty times. Really? Not in a row, but like once a year or something. Really? Yeah, I'll I watch just like did Sopranos again, but I haven't done it. Wait, since everyone it ended. is back on the Sopranos tip. So am I. Yeah, My sisters, great. everyone I know. Mm. I just did Breaking Bad again. Yeah, so you I'm have starting your um, um, Six Feet Under again. Love that That's show. That so good. That's a good show. But I don't do it to that point where like I've done The Wire three times. You That's know what pretty, I mean? I mean, when I say 30, I think it's about three or four. Ooh, I've lived with you a long time, and it's way more than <laughs> okay, that. Okay, can, can I finish my point? Yeah, go ahead. Can I finish my um, I was watching The Manhunt. It's a, the documentary. What are you laughing at? <laughs> Your eyeballs are vibrating, dude. I know. I'm so, I don't know what's wrong with me today. But um, what was it going? Oh, yeah. So uh, Manhunt, it's on HBO. It's a documentary about the CIA. And um, the 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 the, um, the group of people that caught Osama Osama, Osama bin Laden oh, the, uh, for twenty years, yeah, the CIA operatives, the intel people, the you know the people that are out in the fields, you know what I mean? And you know what about you and I? Hmm. If you and I, the people in the CIA was like you and I, dude, back then, Osama bin Laden would be on a beach right now, just relaxing. We would never. <laughs> <laughs> We would never caught him. He would just, he'd just be, you know what I mean? Maui, just, ah, uh, you know what I mean? We, they wouldn't, he would have been free. I just don't even, I don't know how, do you know how to do any of that? I don't know. That's what I really I have I, no I, idea. I would think about it. I have no if, idea. If everyone in the room, CIA, he's, uh, he's out. No, I think, I, I think the opposite. I think oh, no, if you either of you, right. no, if either of you were to have gone through like training and like the physical, Bobby, you're a lot more agile than you think. No, I'm. No, it's not. Maybe your your clotting stuff might be a little bit of. It might be an issue. Yeah, he can I can't run sit through. real long. Every hour and a half, I gotta get up. You but know there's two I mean? types. There's people that are out in the stuff. field, mm -hmm. and then there's the people that at the CIA gathering information. Death. They're mostly women, right? right? And they, you know, they track and they, you know, the board they put right, up because they're detail oriented. Yeah, they, yeah, they're detail oriented. Also, they have patience, right? right? And so I think that if Ryan and I. And they're thinkers. They're thinkers too. They're, think, they're, think, they're not reactionary. Great strategizers. Yeah. So if him and I, you know what I mean, was at the CIA being, you know what I mean, the thinkers, right? Him and I would have killed each other. Like, 
you're Osama bin Laden. No, you're Osama bin Laden. I mean, we would like, what's with Osama yeah, bin Laden? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, now, I'm not saying you'd, you guys would be a thinkers. I think you'd be the bodies on the field. Like, I think you would field be operative. out there. Field operative. Since back in my day, I, I would definitely been out in that field. I was good. I was athletic. It's not about athleticism. Is it, do you speak Arab? No. Yeah, but the, now we have to learn that. Translate, I don't need to. We have to learn that. You know, I don't work with water that well. <laughs> What you know how to swim? What is no, 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 waterboarding. I'm like, I'm not uh, the bucket, oh, uh, you know what I mean? Yeah. The fucking towel. I don't know how to do any of that. Do you know how to waterboard? I can figure it out. Yeah, yeah. I, figure it I don't out think it's that out. hard yeah. to learn can to I, waterboard. Let me tell you something about waterboarding, though. <laughs> yeah. You know what it is, right? Yes. But they put a towel on their face. Yeah. Right? Their mouth. And the, uh, Their mouth. It's just a drowning. No. You, you, they can't see either, I don't think. No, they can't see, but... The, they put the towel on the face. Not the mouth, just the mouth, okay? Yeah. When you say stuff like that, it's, you sound ridiculous. <laughs> okay, well, look up, <laughs> let me look up a picture. I, I look at the waterboarding picture yeah. and then tell me if it's just mouth, okay? You no, sound really. The mouth is the most important no, no, you part. Sound, That's how no. you feel like you're drowning. And the nose. Well, you didn't say the nose before. Okay. One, and I, eyeballs, too. I Let's the, see the photo, man. Okay, I'll, I'll find it. Because sometimes you say stuff, man, it sounds just like not good. <laughs> Wiki how, how to waterboard. How to waterboard. <laughs> <laughs> Wiki how it, you know what I mean? But, um,. I've never been waterboarded, but I, I'm, I'm curious to see if you do feel like you're drowning. Yeah, it's interesting, yes. though. This is from the CIA's website. Notice that his <laughs> That's there. from their website? Uh, well, he's got a... Sar oh, so you can see. You, you, it goes either way. It's optional. Okay. Well, that's like a um, COVID mask. <laughs> N95. And he's tied down. Wow, what a terrible... Uh, yeah. yeah. So what a terrible thing. That's what it is right here. Yeah, for someone who's like constantly and in also, the water. And also, you're a little inverted. Yes. So what do you mean? See right how the see how the head and no, so you're you're tilted a little bit so that it simulates full drowning when you're down there. Can I say something too? The, go back to the photo. That's that's wrong. Can I tell you why? Why? What, what's what's the mistake in that photo? The thing that comes to your mind. I, well, I'm trying to. I don't know because that right there this. is probably like you know Al Qaeda guy, right? Okay. Yeah, he's wearing a he's wearing a baseball vintage tee? baseball tee. And he has probably not the, the he's not wearing the a 1980s. Baseball tee. Well, <laughs> could I flip that? <laughs> that could job be, or something. Wait, that could be an American being waterboarded. And uh, if you look at the casual shoes, the desert loafers, that could actually be. I know. Those are okay, desert, that, that's a go desert loafer. Right I, I, I know. That's a, <laughs> so can I just say something? <laughs> I know. That is a Chuck Taylor <laughs> desert <laughs> high top. I, I, I understand right that. But they still sell those in the Middle East. And say, look at the bucket. Have you ever seen a bucket like yeah. that in it's America? A metal, a metal one, yeah. Yeah, you've never seen that structure of a bucket. They only make those in the Middle you, East. Okay. Right? So that's what they bought that at a local Home Depot, you know what I mean, Dubai or something. Right? And so that's why I think it. <laughs> and also the jeans. Look at the jeans, man. That's wrong. That's raw denim. <laughs> that looks like he's getting an erection a little bit. That too. Why is he, <laughs> dude, it, yeah, why is he hard? <laughs> You know I mean, so there's a lot of things wrong. Why with even put a line there at all for that drawing? <laughs> also, they should just get another illustrator. Maybe a guy that's from the region. I love how they had to label water as if, you see it right there? No, oh, zoom, yeah. in. Oh, zoom, yeah. zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. Zoom in to that photo. I don't know why it's not zooming yet. I think I maxed out. What's going on? There we go. Yeah, there we go. Go further. It does say water. Yeah. It's water. Yeah, yeah. And there's a, there's a little arrow that points to the water. And you know what? I'm so glad they made the water blue in that photo. Because I would have not known what that was. Mm -mm. <laughs> it, does the bucket have a tongue? I would have thought. Anyway, let's move on. Why, from the why? Can I just ask, why is this on the website for the CIA? Why are they showing anyone how to properly do this? I don't know. There's also a bunch of Google images. People just, I think, are just putting CIA Google, on it. Google, oh, okay. Google. I was going to say, because you would think that if the CIA says this is how you do this, it should be legal. <laughs> Yeah. We should be able to just waterboard people. Yeah. Here's an, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That should be totally legal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The CIA. Where'd you learn how to do this? The CIA website. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. CIA.com, yeah. right? Yeah. All that stuff. I made a guillotine from the CIA. Yeah. Anyway, uh, what about this thing that they do when they capture? Because I've seen Ghost of Abba Grabe. Is that what it's called? Oh, God. Documentary. That terrible, 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 terrible documentary. Mm -hmm. And then... Um, but a lot of times they do when they have like um, they play loud music, yeah, so they, they can't sleep. That's how um, what's his name was driven out of was it Koresh? Panama? Oh, I don't know about that. I knew David Koresh, uh, Waco. They did like uh, yes, I the say Waco Backstreet one. Boys and shit like that. They were blaring out. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Who's the other big drug um, kingpin? Not Pablo Escobar, but the one in like Central America. I think he was driven out similarly too, and they were playing like Born in the USA or something. <laughs> oh, like that. oh, really? <laughs> the boss yeah. drove him out. 
I, I mean, if I was a prisoner and they played the song I wanted, that'd be great. Ride the lightning. I disagree. <laughs> I disagree because there are some um, Pixie songs that I feel like you've really listened to way too many times where you're like, if I listen to it one more time, oh, I, I have get, to throw oh, it you, you get have, have you ever done this? When you, when you listen to a song so many times, eventually that song becomes nauseous to you? Can I tell you a funny story please, about please. that? I love stories. Funny. So a friend of mine, this is years ago, he's from Petaluma, Northern California, where up there is very country and everything. He's got the two-lane row with the double yellow line and no shoulders, just grass and everything on the side. And a buddy of his is uh, meeting friends after work uh, for happy hour. And mm. they're all drinking and having a good time. And he decides... What time is that? Five, six? I have about six okay, o'clock. I, need to, I know time. I like yeah. time. Uh, that's an L.A. happy hour, by the way. East Coast is later. They they let you have time to get off of work and shit, 6, 7 o'clock. So Let's just go from 5 to 7 then. This guy gets way too lit at the company happy hour and gets in his work van and decides he's going to drive home. At this point, it's midnight, 1 o'clock. He's wasted. It's raining hard like it is now. And he's driving on a country road, and this is back in the 80s, and he's got an old-school metal radio. And he's got a Kasingle, okay? Remember Kasingles? You know, what's a Kasingle? A Kasingle was a cassette, but it just had one or two songs on it, on, uh, one on each whoa. side. Oh, so you had to pop it out and so switch he's, it. So he's got Madonna like a virgin sure. on Kasingle. And then whatever was on the other side, I don't know. Like a prayer, let's just say that. Great. And he's got auto reverse on the cassette, and he's driving, wasted, and he slides off the road, and he hits a telephone pole, and he flips, and the van rolls. And now he's laying on the roof. He's, it's, it's on its roof, and he's upside down, and he's laying there. And it's so dark up there that he slid so far off the road that he's behind this thicket of trees, and nobody knows that he's back there. Oh, my God. And the water's pouring in, and the, the power line has broken across uh, his car, and it's live laying across the car. So electricity. Full-on electricity. He's laying upside down in water. And he's got one of the old school metal radios and Madonna like a virgin Still playing. playing. It's playing. And then he's laying there. Does it repeat or probably not? It flips over automatically. Automatically. And it's on, actually, it was on the same side okay. again. And he's listening to this for like eight fucking hours straight because he's scared to touch the, <laughs> scared to touch that metal radio. I, I, I'd risk it. And try to eject it wow, so it can wow, shut up. Wow. And it's all, and they don't find him till the next morning. And oh to my this God. day, to this day, he can't. He can't. He can't even fucking hear a note of it. Yeah. That well, that makes sense. That, like, makes, yeah. that makes sense. That tracks. That's what I was saying. <laughs> no, but it. I mean, this is a perfect. It's <laughs> It's the most extreme it's example so of it. This yeah. is similar to what's a Depeche. <laughs> it's insane. What's a Depeche Mode song? Oh, dude, dude. Yes. No, so, okay. <coughs> so him and I can't listen. Uh, we can't listen. It's, and, and it's one of my songs. It's one of my favorite <laughs> songs. <laughs> and it got destroyed. Everything counts. Yes, everything Thing counts in large amounts. amounts. Listen, I'm on the way home now. Yeah. We okay. It's one. Of, it used to be my favorite song. What Same happened? as well. Love Depeche Mode. So what? we were having the best night. Of, we. We had just landed in the Philippines. We were so excited. We were just two lovers in this two big hotel in a big room. Hotel we had a room. great day. Great we day. were in the bathtub together. Um, and then Bobby got out of the tub and he was dancing to Depeche Mode. I recorded him in the dark. It was just like a really sweet night. And then we go to bed and in in the middle of the night, I just couldn't breathe. And I ended up in the ICU. I was having arrhythmias, like, like nonstop arrhythmias in the Philippines. And it was this whole thing that ended up with me having to get like part of my heart like burned off, basically. What? Like abnormal tissue burned off. But it turned into such a perfect, a perfect night turned into such a fucking scary thing because he was like trying to get an ambulance and it's in the Philippines and he didn't know. Because we, like, we weren't in a... I couldn't breathe. We were on a different island. Were we were a different island? No, we were in Cebu. Okay. Yeah. We I, were I tell the story like we're on a different island. We're no, on no, a remote no, no, no. island. Like, oh. Like, <laughs> oh, big city. Yeah, big yeah. city. This is, hey, 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 yeah. But it was a big... It's a big city. We have like great medical facilities there but he just... I couldn't tell him what I needed. I just told him I couldn't breathe. And I was getting paler and nightmare. it was like yeah. nightmare. And we were in this old ambulance and like he didn't know if I was going to make it. I didn't know if I was. Anyways, Depeche Mode, Everything Counts is like. For me, when I listen to the song, it doesn't make me. Every second counts. God damn. Exactly. 
So you end up <laughs> you end up finding out that you have some irregular tissue in your heart and they have to burn it off yeah, in the and Philippines I had to get, while you're on vacation? Well, they said, well, let's do the operation here. And I was like, no, I'm going to fly back. So the flight back to the U.S. was even worse because I was like wheeled. You can as fly with that. No, we had to lie. Is it way to get a nurse? Yeah, no, we had to. We had to fly get like a us. doctor's clearance. Oh. But then I basically had to pretend that I was like a okay, but feeling like absolute dog shit. Just but how to long get of a back. flight is that? Uh, 16. Jesus Christ! Hours. Yeah. But you know, Bobby was really sweet to get me like the life flat seat, and I slept hey. through most of it. Way to way to spring, Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> Way to do the good yeah, thing, man. buddy. Would you have done it? Probably yes, not. Yes, of course. Probably not. Yeah. Anyway. I would have got it for myself and been like, you can take it and use it when you need. You, know? no, we get <laughs> <laughs> you should sit upright too sometimes. Yeah. You know? um, the song doesn't make me feel nauseous. What's it do? The song, I think it's bad luck. Yeah, oh, same. That's interesting. Yeah, so it doesn't so like, make you think of a bad yeah. time. You think it's bad luck. How can luck. we reclaim it though? I want to reclaim that song. How? We got to go back. The same spot. Yeah, same hotel, wow. same okay. song. Okay. Right. Same room. Play it, same room. Play that song. I'll be dancing naked. Okay. Right, and we'll just see what happens. Okay. We have to reclaim it because um, I, I want that song back. Me too. I do. I really do <laughs> want that song back. You know, and you know, your your friend should flip a car, go in the water, go in the water, and just reclaim that song. I don't know if anybody needs like a virgin back. You know what I mean? It's a pretty. Yeah. Oh. You know what? Border, what's that? Border, Borderline. Border. Borderline's a That's great, great one. That's what a banger that one is. That is like a prayer, borderline. Pretty good. Yeah, you don't need like a, you don't need a, like a version. No. Yeah. Let me ask you this. What song, or is there one that you hear today that will, no matter what, it'll still get you super emotional, even break bring you to tears? Is there Oh, one? there's so many. Yeah. For me, it's um, Beatles in my life. Yeah. Mm. They play that. It's a little hacky, though. Well, no, I think play it's, a funeral the reason, lot. yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's yeah. the reason why it gets me every time is yeah. because it's such a common funeral song yeah. that no matter where I am, I think about life passing on. <laughs> Story? Yeah. I know this guy. I can't say his name because I love him, but um, old, older man, right? And um, he had sons that were in their early 20s. He dies. I went to the funeral. And they sang that song, the sons a cappella. Oh, no. No. Yeah, and it was not good. Right, so I just kind of—I remember rolling my eyes <laughs> at the funeral. I went. <laughs> I can play the song, not you know, the acapella. You know what I mean? Wait, what's that song for you? I, I'm, I'm like Bobby. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm emotional, so I'll get there'll be a bu there'll be times I'm in the grocery store just opening up the freezer to grab a frozen pizza, and I'll hear something come on. I'm like, <sighs> like, like <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh really? <laughs> yeah, like where's yeah. that one come? Not I think another good one for me is um, Roy Orbison's Blue Bayou. That's a good one. Yeah, that's a yeah. great song. Why? There is something about him longing to return to a place that makes me really emotional or that I can relate to. Mm. And maybe I'll he never gets to it, but he just the longing in the song. Whoa. I have one that I'll turn off. Um, can I just say something? I have one too, and you guys did three already. <laughs> Go ahead. I, I guess I, can I just point that out today because yeah. it's like you guys go back and forth and I'm trying to get mine in. He hasn't had one yet. I just said in general, I'm like, well, no, you're at the cry. pizza thing. Oh, yeah, you didn't tell yours. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, so Garth Brooks' The Dance is a 100% a funeral death song. It's all it is. It's not one that Never heard like, it. a daughter oh. dances with her dad at the wedding. It's a death song. Sing me a little bit of the song. Um, hold on. The dance. <laughs> That's exactly it. It's That's all like, about yeah. losing someone you love, and it, it was still worth the dance. And it's just brutal. But it's, it's one brutal. of his most famous songs. Yeah. It is but a it's very... a funeral song. And when we were younger, my friend's little sister, who was like a little sister to all of us, was killed in a car accident. And her mom played that song. I had never heard it before. And it's all I can think about when I hear that song. And I'm just like, yeah, we'll, ne we'll hit next. Because mm. I won't. I can't think about it. Like you were saying, I yeah. can't think about anything else but that, what that is, you know? Mm. I don't go anywhere else with that song. I don't even try. I can't think of anything so else. So when, when the dance airs, do you think of a specific person? Yeah, I think of her. Her name was Kelly Patterson. Kelly Patterson, okay. And, I, and, and also that whole time, because we were, I was just into college. So some of our friends were in high school, so we were all at the hospital. It was a huge funeral. It was one of those things, you know, high school death, 16. 
Yeah, I don't. You don't. Know how, you know, in high school, I've had some deaths in high school. You don't know how to process it that, at that age. You don't know what. Didn't it you have a friend who died from like a helicopter accident? But that was years later, though. Whoa! But that's insane. That yeah. is an insane way to go. Yeah, he died in a helicopter, and you know, he was a dear friend of mine. I just lost t- touch over the years. But you know, who's another? Here's a kid. <clears throat> Can I just say my song? Yeah, yeah. Fuck. yeah. Will you? I keep thinking about this song. Just got so good about it. Really good. Right. The helicopter. And, and I don't even have a story behind it. I'm just gonna say the song. Okay. Nothing compares to you. I don't know why. Oh yes. When they hear that uh, in it's that beginning. Been seven but, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. my god. That. It's, have you heard the Chris Cornell version? Yes. Yes. I yeah. Do I, I have? I do love and, Sinead. And, and I. Prince. And, and the Prince version I heard live at the forum when Prince had those shows like in the early 2010s uh so good but Sinead version i think is supreme yeah she's crying when she sings it so good anyway is that your only one no but i was gonna go on to something else no you said to give you three no i i was making a joke that you already done three and then i couldn't throw mine out there it was just a joke though i'm so sorry i said that will you listen to the song though were you the dance no The, nothing compares to you. Yeah, like when it comes to, on, will you listen or do you? Yeah, I do listen to it. Okay. Yeah. And I think of this girl named Megan Stallard. Why? This isn't the girl whose like toes you would sniff. No, that's Tara Black. Oh, that's right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tara toes. No, well, well, how do you know about Tara Black? I said it on this podcast. You, yeah. Uh, oh, okay, okay. You yeah. would just like stare at her toes. I and, didn't like, smell them though. You didn't ever smell them? No, I just, oh, shit, I can see the toes right now. What dude. song are you hearing? What song? Yeah. There's no song. <laughs> <laughs> I can only hear me breathing like that. <laughs> <laughs> the soundtrack of your yeah. breath. Because at that time, I had never had sex with a girl, really. And, and I went to rehab, and um, I met this girl named Tara Black in rehab. And so she, you know, because we went to rehab together, her mom said, allowed me to spend the night at their house, just as friends or whatever. It was, she was sleeping on the couch one time to- at night, and I saw her little toes stick out of the... I'd never seen white toes before. Young <laughs> white toes. Oh, Young the, the, white yeah, toes. Yeah, yeah. And her the... toes were sticking out like that, and I remember just staring. And it, and it wasn't like, you know what I mean? No, but that... I'm going to cut them off with a scissor. You know, no, it was, like, it was like, oh, they're so cute. And I had so many feelings. No, that I totally get that. Yeah, when yeah. you're at that age and oh when you're God. crushing hard, you pay attention to every tiny detail about that person. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that crushy feeling. Oh, it's so like you. It's you. Yeah. You'll never get it again. I want to talk about crushy feelings, but I want to also because uh, I'm I have so many of my so much on my head that I'm trying to track this conversation. You know what I mean? So let me just get this other information. I don't. Mm-hmm. So Eric, Eric, my die guy friend, died in the, the helicopter. helicopter yeah. But um. Which brought in my mind, this is so when I went, me and Andrew played San Diego, um, I invited a couple of friends from high school I hadn't seen in 20, 30 years. And one of the guys, his name is Craig, he's been texting me and he's made it his life mission to get me back, get into the Hall of Fame at Poway High. Wow. But he said the sixth, there's six like regular um, rules. And he goes, I th- he, th- he thinks that I break the sixth one. What's the sixth one? Which is my image. They're like, what? What's the matter with your image? They, they want like a christian image. Okay, well, hold okay. on. Who are the other people that are in this Hall of Fame? You've never heard of any of them in your life. Well, but who are they in the a school? A scientist. They do? He's a scientist. A neurosurgeon. Or an actor who has an acting school in San But that Diego. guy could be a piece of shit just because he's a neurosurgeon. Doesn't Because you're good at your job, I mean, you're a good person. It's the image. That's the image. My image is like um, very like um, outlandish. I say fucked up things. You're you know, not buttoned up. I get naked. I'm not them. buttoned up. I'm wild. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they you don't need want to that corporate image. it up. Mm-hmm. Well, wear a suit or something? Listen, yeah. that 52 year old kid we saw in that picture earlier today, that kid could, could definitely get on that Hall of Fame wall. No, he can't. Sure, he could. I don't think, I, I think because I went to two rehabs in high school, they were like, nah. But they, you deserve reparations from this school because they put your picture in the wrong. <laughs> they put your picture in the in a different school's yearbook. Yearbook. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wait, your high, your senior <laughs> picture got somehow placed in a school's yearbook you didn't go to. 
They hated How? him that much. How does because that they, even because, happen? Because Mom Carmel had 60% Filipinos. Or, or Asians. In that. And then Poway High School Mom Carmel used the for, same photography studio. And so there's just so a I was white the, lady sitting there with a pile of kids. Yeah, and I'm in the Poway. So I'm in the Poway. Oh, this must have got, oh, got lost. <laughs> How do you and even find a, that out? Do you go to your yearbook and be like, holy shit, I'm not No, here? when it came out, I was so excited, and I went to my Al's, and I wasn't in it. So and then how like, did you find out where you I, I went and complained, you know what I mean, to like whoever, I, you know, it's a teacher or somebody, whatever. Well, I went to administration, and they found, they go, oh, de-, like weeks later, they go, oh, dear, you, you ended up in the Mount Carmel t- yearbook. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, so anyway. I know. What, anyways, what were we talking about? So uh, <laughs> I can't, I can't uh, imagine that's ever happened to anybody else. Number six, image. We need to work on the image. Yeah. No, I was. You know, we were talking about that. So his name is Craig, and I really appreciate it. Um, there was something else I for, kind of for, 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 forgot about the helicopter yeah, crash. No, he was in way before that. We, I went. You know, this. This here's what my thinking is today. Very Pulp Fictiony, mm. where I'm here and then there, here, and I can't get the order out of my brain. You know, this is one of my favorite games to play. What, what? were we just talking about? Really? <laughs> yeah. And then you go back. There's way, no way I'll figure way it out. Way too. And then you work forward. Yeah. Okay, let's go back. Okay, well, you let, went to your song that upset you. You. Uh, oh, but let's go. But, nothing compares to you. Okay. Oh yeah. Hey, nothing of that. And then you went into talking about your friend in the helicopter. Yes. Yes. And then Tara Black's toes. Tara, Tara Black's, Tara Black's toes. toes. And there was another girl that wasn't Tara Black. Oh, I know. I know what it is. Megan the, Stoltz. No, the feel. The um, oh. crushy feeling. Crushy feeling. Thank feeling. you so much. It's a fun that game. That works. What were we just talking about? Yeah. One of my favorite game. Crushy feeling. <laughs> Will you ever? Oh, here's. Can I? I talked to Gene last night. Uh huh. And he go. I go because. Oh, I don't. Want, I. And I'm. I, so here's what I want to say. Um. He asked me why you and I worked out, right? And I go uh, for ten years. And I go, well, I I believe that she was out of my league. And he goes. Gene goes. That's interesting. It's like. For a lot of people, you know, what I mean, they both have to feel like they're both out of their leagues. I in a relationship. That. I know you did. Yeah. Yeah, but my point is, is that um, I th- just found that interesting. I want to be in a situation where I'm like, oh, I can't believe I'm with this person. Why do they like me? You understand what I'm saying? I do. Yeah. I think every girl I've seen is probably <laughs> out of my league. I'll agree with that. I, I mean, every <laughs> one of them. I genuinely don't, like, I don't think poorly of myself, but I also know where I am. You know what I mean? I'm a comedian. I'm not a bodybuilder. I'm not a personal trainer. I'm not, you know, I don't have this. I'm just, this is who I am. Pretty good. But when I see these ladies, I'm like, definitely out of my league. Every one of them, for sure. And I would really? argue that yeah. we probably love feeling like we're out of your league and it sort of like energizes us more in that relationship. Because mm. I would hate to be in a relationship where the dude is just like, obviously an Adonis and I'm not like the prize of the relationship, it doesn't put me in like my f- most feminine mm. kind of like, you know what I Interesting. mean? Interesting. Well, we, we get this whole, I mean, men do get it done to them too. We all get pumped full of, you got to look this way. So then you get in your mind, like every person wants this thing. And then you get out into the real world and you start meeting women and are like, I love a dad bod. Like, I've had women tell me that they won't date men with abs because if a man has abs, that means he's spending all his time in the gym and not where he should be doing other things. And I was like, that's an interesting mm. way to look at it. And that's how, you know, makes me feel better about myself. Well, yeah, I mean, that, I mean, that has to be there, too, where a girl, like, I, I, I've dated women that are pretty, that said, yeah, I don't care about the looks, really. You know what I mean? Actually, most of us just don't. You just straight up don't. Are you but there's sure? something for everyone. Amputees. There's people out there. I met a I met a woman there is? in a wheelchair. Yeah. Okay. I interviewed her actually, and she said that in her world she's a unicorn. And I said, why? And she goes, because 80% of men are the ones in wheelchairs because they do dumb shit. And I'm like, uh, oh, you're right. We do uh, ramp the ramp jumps and yeah, yeah. you know, fall on our heads and break our necks. So then I then she introduces me to this dude in a wheelchair, and his girlfriend is there, and she's gorgeous. And she said, she, it's just such a wild thing. She said that he gets hit on because he's a good looking dude and he's in a wheelchair. And she said, You have no idea. 20 women tonight are going to want to take him home. And I was Whoa. like, Really? I go, How do you deal with it? And she goes, I stopped seeing him. Like, we're just friends now. And I was oh. like, You broke uh. up with him. And she goes, I had to. 
I felt terrible. This man can no longer, because he wasn't born that way. It, ha- it was an accident. So she's he, like, he probably just eats good pussy. She's like this man from the chair, right? bro. Like the best, this like the man, master of pussy eating. Good technique. Lost his ability to walk. And I can't rightfully say you, I should just be the only person you have sex with for the rest of your life. When I'm out every night watching 20 women come up to you, and they're beautiful women that want to take him He's up. a good so looking she guy. Lets him. Yeah, I'll, she I'll really She well. lets him. Mm-hmm. Oh, I And they're just not. buddies. They're just buddies now. She's like, I can't be his girlfriend. She's like, it's ridiculous. Wow. And as we're talking, at least three or four women come up, and they're all talking and wow. they're asking them questions. Can you do this? Can you do that? And I was like, this is all the time? She's like, all the time. Wow. But yes, he's a good looking guy in the wheelchair. Yes. Well, because he's one of those guys like, okay, I don't can't lose my I lost my uh, ability to walk, but um but I'm gonna make my waist up just buff as far. I think that's what I would have done. Yeah. If I lost my legs, I would be like buff, I think. Naturally. So why, you why'd, you, be why'd you laugh that? Why'd you laugh? All the time. No, I'm gonna show you photos of guys that are buff with no legs. Like Oscar Pistorius. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's I would look so good. I mean, what else you got, you know? No, but I was watching Murderball. Like, what? this guy is very popular on the internet. Wait, what? He's Whoa, like, dude. Uh, Look no. how buff he is. He so does he's buff, Wait. Dude. He's a wrestler, yeah. Does he have? Nope. I think, yeah, he has a, just, I think, torso, right? So he doesn't he, have a torso. penis or testicles. It's in the ground right now. Look at it. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. He looks <laughs> like he's yeah. in the ground. That's he's this guy. How, wait, can you? Oh, my God. Hold on. I'm blown away by this. Can you? Could we as men be just under the belly button and still live? Can you live without? I think as that long guy, as you have all your major organs. Don't we need at least something down there? How do you, how do you poo? I guess a I mean, if he has an bag, ostomy, maybe. yeah. Yeah. Yeah, if he has a bag. What if he, imagine if he lost, like he, he wasn't born that way, but he had an accident. Oh, man. And on his mantle, there's this gigantic penis. <laughs> And legs, <laughs> and legs, and legs. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's just, just gigantic. <laughs> he made lamps out of them. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Wow! <laughs> yeah. Look how big he is. That guy could kick my ass uh, right now. He could well, grab he me around my ankles, and draw it. me in. He would never catch me. <laughs> Long distance. Dude. Right? I don't know. That's his bike. I'm guessing behind him. Oh wow! Wow, that's yeah, cool. He is dude. So that's buff. A, and then this guy. Oh, go down more. I want to see some of these more of these photos. Oh, this guy. Just that guy has his. Oh no. Eyes. Oh, he has a prosthetic. A prosthetic. Right? These that legs, even better. Though, like you, you mentioned Oscar Pistorius. Yeah. That guy, I always thought like that was bullshit. There should be, he's running in the Olympics. It's the first time I can remember seeing someone that had an unfair, adv- a disadv- uh, no, unfair advantage. You think he had an unfair advantage? Yeah. Because of his new future Those legs. Those fucking robot legs are dusting everybody. <laughs> I, I know. Yeah, that's I know. an unfair. They're curved, right? It's actually, it's an unfair disadvantage. He has no yeah, leg. Yeah, because yeah, it's yeah. like they'll never be arthritic. Nothing. Mm. And it's just springs. Our body can't do that. Yeah, yeah. You're just springing wow, past people. Wow, 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 wow. Unfair disadvantage. Wow. No. Here, watch this. Dude, dude, that dude. Watch how fast. I bet his mile fast. is Look still up. faster than yours, Bobby. <laughs> do you think you could beat him on foot, Bobby? Honestly. Dude, imagine him chasing you at night at two in the morning. You don't know what it is. I would fucking I, I, scream I was, louder than you so ever. <laughs> you could put him in all kinds of outfits. If he came running at me in an alley, oh, oh god my god. Damn. Yeah. I, well, that guy. <laughs> <laughs> don't show that again. It's so funny. I hate it. Yeah, He's yeah. the so fastest. Fast. Man so cute. The I like that guy. Record. What's his name? Zion Clark. Zion Happy Clark. He is. is yeah, I love this I would guy, not dude. be as smiling like that if I was yeah. missing. What a cool dude, man. Anyway, um, wow. yeah, so I want to feel like somebody's out of my league. Let's go back to that. Mm-hmm. You know? How do we, how, what does she have to be? Who does she have to be? I know that looks are important, but I think that only gets you, that only gets them so far with you. I, 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 I don't know. I, I honestly don't know. I mean, I, um, obviously I don't like talking about these things because I'm dating people and I want them, th- their feelings, I mean, they could be out of my league. Like, I don't know, you know? The people I'm dating now, I just don't feel that right now. I I, I think that you're just not ready to kind of s- you're not there. You're not there to really open up in that way that you could see someone for their true potential. I think yeah. right now you're just having fun and you know lightly dating here and there. Yeah, I don't know. I genuinely mean this. From the first time I ever had a girlfriend till now, I've always been blown away that any girl wanted to date. Oh, that, yeah. I've never been like, I knew it. Never. Never. You know, uh, I, b- before I forget, you know, this guy right here, yeah. George, um, he's had a bone to pick with you. 
Oh yeah. <laughs> Why do you just hear about it? Switch yeah, it up. I'll switch it up a little bit. And he has a no. Wait, slow down, dude. And he's a gas. So he slid up to that. Mic. I know he did. So he's had a bone to pick with you. Go ahead. Oh, this has been a bone to pick for quite a while. Wow. Okay. <laughs> um, we started this podcast what in 2015, 2016. 2015. Um, it was all about Bobby and Kalila's relationship, okay. and as that evolved and changed, and then ended. Um, you got the fucking scoop on the podcast on their relationship, and it didn't even happen on this podcast. Wait, is that right? Holy cow! Hold on a second. That bone shouldn't be with me. The bone should be with him. That's a, I didn't know he you didn't asked tell me. that story. Well, you I didn't know you me. hadn't told it anywhere Wait. else yet. We recorded ahead since we knew we were in a rocky place. We wanted to make sure we could address down, it in you. the way we calm wanted. Down. We wanted to down address it <laughs> and let everybody know in our time, you know. And but for, somehow, for a ye- somehow, over a year, he complains about you all the time till this day. Every time. Everybody says, no, Ryan's the nicest guy ever. He's I'm the like, nicest guy in the world. He stole our scoop. George. That should have happened on this show. I almost died from Here it is. You should let that go. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, 4.9 million views. Oh, wow. I had no idea. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 4.9 million Billion. views, dude. Did we spell your name right, Kalila? Uh, let me see. Yeah, yeah you did. Thank yeah, you, you did. so much. Yeah, you did. 4.9. Listen, Four. I genuinely... Also, Bobby Lee's like a feral cat. You guys know that. <laughs> I didn't know he didn't tell that story. I feel on like that's on us. Any other podcast. No. Or mm-hmm. or if you would have hit me up, I would have absolutely held it. You know what I mean? I would Of course I would. I'm here for the comedians. <laughs> I got no beef with anybody. Oh, wow. You're smooth. But dude. is this why you rescheduled me six times? <laughs> Dude, this <laughs> fucking stuff. <laughs> Oh, yo, wait, wait, wait. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. Is this on. why you hit me up and said, yeah, I'll have you on, and then you didn't hit me back up for six months? I wish it was. I wish it <laughs> no, was. No, no, no. Well, dude, are you fucking being real? That's how you got your revenge? You because know, I for wish years I've been asking for this out. You told me I've been asking up. for you for years. I did. Well, that's fucked up, dog. And he, he didn't hit me up until a new year. That's insane, well, dude. new calendar year. Well, that's wow. a, you, you, you got to figure out how to. My get... special dropped in May, and here I am right now. It did? Yeah. May of 2023. Uh, I was going to well, say. Almost a year ago. Bone. Yeah. Wow. Because he's had a bone to pick. He had a bone to pick. And I get it now. Mm-hmm. I get it. Well, now. I, I'm not, you know, I don't know if we're going to you know, get you over the line. We'll try, but, you know, hey, I don't want the pressure. I'm just happy but... to be here. Yeah. I've wanted to do this for a long time. Yeah, yeah. I've wanted you on this for a long time, but my point is, is that. And I've six never times, met. Huh? Kalila before. I can't believe it. I know. Isn't that crazy? It is crazy. It always blows me away that we all run in these same circles and there'll be someone I haven't met after like 10 years. Wow. Because you know who's been telling me about you for a while was Candace Thompson. I love Candace. I love Candace. And she worked with you for a while and she used to tell me she'd go on the road with you and that you would go out with Bobby. And I was like, that lady Back in the day. really love Bobby Lee. Yeah, yeah, I, I love Candace because when I would go on the road with Bobby and Candace would open for Bobby, mm-hmm. her and I would just go explore what whatever said. city mm-hmm. because Bobby would be asleep for most of the day. Yeah, and she always talked very highly of you. So the only time I almost crossed paths with you was at Christina Pajitsky's birthday party, what, just a few years ago here in L.A. They, were, they came. Right at the break room. That's right. Yeah, yeah. I had no, that place was awesome. I had no that idea. That was a great night. Yeah, and Joe Rogan I, was there. Yeah, Ali Wong was there. Yeah, everyone was there. Everyone, everyone was, there. was there. That was fun. Um, and I got to hang out with you, but you came in and were out pretty quickly. And I, I kept asking people to introduce me because I had not met you yet. I think I danced a quick dance with Santino and his wife. Yeah, and then I sang a song with um, a two karaoke songs, and then I was out. Yeah, and that's where yeah. Rogan said something to you. Um, Rogan, you embraced, like, didn't you mid, embrace? mid dance, I was dancing with Santino and his <laughs> wife and Rogan <laughs> came over and was like, Hey, like, you know, like I'm not your enemy. And I was like, I know Joe, we're good. And then that was it. Oh, that was, sweet. it was in the middle of a Whitney That's Houston. Nice. I want to dance wow. with somebody, <laughs> yeah, yeah. but yeah, yeah. yeah, but it was a great song that we were really like dancing to. And I, I thought he came at a very like weird moment, but yeah. it was still a nice thing to say. You know, it's funny, right? Do you ever think this, um, like, you know, like when I see Paul Rodriguez mm-hmm. or Arsenio Hall, for instance, I don't I get more scared to see them than my friends who are bigger stars right now. Yeah. And the re- it's interesting to me, like when I see even Bill Burr, I knew him when he was younger. I met him when he was younger. So it's like I didn't see the I mean, I was witness the rise, but slow. Right. And so you don't see what other people see. Right. Or feel. Right. So when I'm around, you know. Like Saturday night when I did the show at the Madison Square Garden, 
not a Madison Square Garden. Um, I was like, MGM, Damn, man. MGM. Wow. <laughs> With Tom and those guys, there is a thing where I'm like, oh yeah, th- these guys are famous. You know what I mean? But yeah. It's just interesting because when I, you know, the other night I was with saw Paul Rodriguez, and I got nervous. Dude, I get that. I mean, yeah. Paul, we were kids when he was doing his thing, and that's a peer. You know, you really yeah. look up to that guy, like Arsenio. Like DC I can't Cab. believe Arsenio had one of the biggest shows in in history. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's how I felt about Joe because I had started watching mm-hmm. UFC since I was like nineteen years old. Yeah, and so I, in my delusional head, wanted to take um, what's his name, Mike Goldberg's job. Oh yeah, Mike Goldberg. Yeah, yeah. so the voice Mike Goldberg on. was always with Joe commentating, right? Yeah, the color commentating. And in my head, I was like, I can do what Mike is doing because Joe is giving all the technical stuff, and Mike is just giving like filler information about the fighter. And I was such a hardcore fan that I, in my head, I thought that. So when I did finally meet Joe, I was like, okay, I'm not a color commentator. I am not a UFC commentator. I was like, but this is close enough. And this is so fucking crazy. And yeah. so I felt so nervous to even meet him the very first time. It's interesting because I I knew Joe when he was on news radio, so he wasn't that big of a star. So like I it's it's the, so when I'm with him, it's not that feeling. But I can see other people get super nervous around him. Mean, I think it's just to find the the human psych, psyche. Yeah. I'm like that with Bill Burr. You get I, nervous. I love Bill Burr, and I'm yes, I'm so nervous. Has he hey, have, has he done Honeydew? He hasn't. I'm scared to ask. You gotta him. ask. Him. I want to ask him, but. Every time I see him, I'm also blown away. I, I I pulled him aside one time at the store, and I was like, "Dude, you fucking you flew in Boba Fett ship." I know, <laughs> I know, right? You know what I'm saying when like, I saw him on the Mandalorian, I was like, jokes. "I can't I couldn't yeah. believe it." I couldn't you believe flew it. in Boba Fett yeah. ship, like <laughs> mad props. Dude. I know, I, I can't. Fucking That's a childhood wet dream. You flew in the ship with the dude, like it's crazy. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. Laughing at me, I was just like, I just got to tell you. Do you think you're a star? No. Yeah, either do I. No. Well, I'm not. You are. I'm not. No. Anybody that no, tells no, no. me I'm pop. Now, shut the fuck up. No. That's bullshit. No. Let's define. That's it. No, no. Let's no. define what. A, uh, that's let's bullshit. Let's define what famous that's is bullshit. right now. That's bullshit. That's po- bullshit. All that. That's bullshit. Let's okay. go ahead. So let me say something, right? Mm-hmm. Obviously, there are levels. Mm-hmm. Right. Right. There's different levels. Right. right. So so different so, levels shouldn't also carry the so same title. I know. Fame. I'm just saying. I'm sure. I mean, obviously, Barack Obama is probably one of the most famous people. Donald Trump. These are two gigantic. I'm sure. Jay-Z. Michael Jordan. Exactly. So these Michael types Jackson. of fames. I'm, you know what I mean? So it's like there, there, there's levels to this game. So there is a level of fame that Sickler has. You're, a, you're famous in comedy. So are you. No, I'm not. I would give myself at the max kind of popular. Tops. Tops. So what defines fame? I think fame is someone in that, if we're going to stay specific to the genre of like comedy or music or art or whatever, yeah. then I would say the overwhelming of, uh, majority of people who uh, are a fan of that thing know exactly who you are. Yeah, I don't know because um, I and would, then there's fame where Jay Z can walk down the fucking a street in Thailand uh, uh, okay. and everyone knows who the fuck. Oh, okay, is. okay, but um, I want to say I don't know because um, it's not as if I I would go drive all the way to fucking Venice or Santa Monica to do somebody's podcast who isn't the shit, right? I, well, I appreciate. So my point is, is that I think that every podcast I do, um, there's a level of fame that they have that. I mean, the reason why, I mean, they have to be nice people and this and that. I'm not trying to seem like I'm shallow, you know what I mean? But I'm not going to do some random dude's podcast that lives in Barstow who has no, you know what I mean? That's- in terms of podcasting, though, like, you are the OG. Yeah. No, God, you, no. Like, right Tom around the time. Tom and Christina and those What about the crab, the crab Feast or whatever you did with Crab Feast, crab feast yeah. did go, uh, it what was ha- early on, but Tom and, the, and Rogan, what those guys were still you? doing, between Jay and I? Yeah. Nothing happened. He genuinely wanted to do his own thing and start his own thing. And look, we'll talk. you want to talk about it? Fine. We grew during it, right? We had a seven-year podcast, and um, I'm still proud of it. It's still it, that that library did over a million downloads last year. Wow. It's still a strong audio-only podcast. But I'm a single at the time. I'm a single dad. Uh, Jay had two kids. When we started, we didn't have any kids. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? So now, as you guys know, and you too, George, scheduling is the biggest fucking big and panty ass about this whole thing. You know that, right, George? So. Um, after a while, he's like, I don't think I can do this. And then it was like, I don't want to do this anymore. And then he would change his mind. And then at the end of that, after the third time, I was like, look, 
this brings me X amount of dollars. I know this. I know if I'm going to start a new podcast, it's going to be a minimum three months before I get any real downloads that I can take and give it to an ad rep who wow. can then go shop it. And then if I get them, it's going to be three more months before I get paid. So I'm going without money from anywhere for six to nine months for this. And then I can't keep you know, going through this cycle of I think I do, I think I don't. So then the third time I was like, look, I support it and I agree with you. Let's end you it. You fucked up. You can't leave. We're not, do we're not doing a fucking Simon and Garfunkel, Garfunkel wham, <laughs> wham, wham thing where like wham. One, one guy yeah. goes this way and the other guy goes down. Hauling oats. No, we're going to die or live together. And I, and I also said there is a time limit. Any of you guys in this room, you know, I told you this, man. If you leave, Gilbert, yeah. I'm done with this. If you leave... Or if you leave, I'm done with this. Okay, I'll do something else. Can we threaten you the same way? Go ahead. If you leave, it'll automatically die. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell you that right now. I, I'm, not I'm, trying to be bold. Say. I'm not trying to be you bold. You need to carry that attitude into dating, <laughs> Bobby. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know that for a fact. It will fizzle out. And That's die. what I was going to say. Yeah, yeah. If you but leave, if, it's over. <laughs> I know, but if you leave, it's over too. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, I'm being real. You can look at my you. eyes. Because four, three, or four months ago, the, your talk, bud, the shit that was coming out of your own Gilbert, awesome. right? Uh, I'm just saying, was out of pocket. No, it's yeah. Life. So we're not leaving. Well, you said something. The, the crab <laughs> feast lasted seven and a half years. That's a long time. That is a long. It time. was okay. That's pretty long. That's what I'm saying. It was okay to end at that time, and then. I created the Honeydew after that because I loved the craft feast was just generic storytelling. I got one about a wedding and I got one about my aunt. And I got and then the Honeydew, I I loved talk, storytelling so much that I got sick of everyone's Instagrams and you know this fake bullshit everyone's living and I was like can we really talk about the worst shit in your life ever yeah. and find times to laugh at it that's yeah. why I what highlight the low light what is honeydew miss the honeydew is I was sitting in a diner one night eating some dinner and they gave you that fruit plate you know, and there's honeydew and there's cantaloupe I eat everything in it even red grapes and I don't even care for red grapes <laughs> but I don't eat the honeydew just I don't have a passion against it I just don't fuck with the honeydew do you yeah. cantaloupe yeah, eat but cantaloupe, do you eat watermelon. Honeydew, that's the green one, honeydew, right? Mm -hmm. you do you see? eat it now? No. Wow. I, so I get up, and when I walk out, I see tables full of honeydew, and I thought to myself, wow, that's a perfectly good fruit that most people throw away. And no, then I it don't. dawned on me that that was who I was in life, and I was now going to lean into talking about the worst times in people's lives and trying to find humor in that. I, I don't know where you're eating. <laughs> Where you, 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 where people are leaving the honeydew alone? <laughs> All over that table. But where we go? I get pictures they, they nonstop honeydew, of it. They eat the honeydew Honeydew first. is tricky, though, because when it gets to that point of being too sweet, I don't eat it. It has to be the perfect, like, still sort of hard, not too ripe. It's like the iceberg lettuce of fruit. It's yeah. got m not much. A doctor told me one time that there's one month a year that honeydew is good. And then people are like, well, you got to wrap it in bacon. I'm like, you put a piece of shit in bacon, it's going to taste better. Oh, that's you know right, what I mean? Like, like prosciutto or whatever. Okay, okay. I, I, I'm not going to defend the honeydew right now. Yeah, you don't yeah it just gets, when it gets mushy, it's, not my favorite it's over. Okay. A picture behind me on in the studio is a fucking fruit tray at someone's job where everything is gone but the honeydew and there's a cigarette out in the middle of it. Oh, wow. I feel bad for the honeydew, but I'm glad you named it that. That's why it's called the honeydew. Yeah. You know, celebrating the, the shit people throw away, you know? That's who we all are. Yeah. There's definitely been someone in your life that's thrown you away. Like, you weren't, eh. You know? And that's why I now do the way back, so we can sit and just You're, laugh about childhood. And you asked fun. me to do it, huh? Yeah. When do you want me to do it? S soon. I'd no. love to have you on. <laughs> no way, man. No one, who's... Oh. Like six Bobby, months. Give like me six, another six months. Give me another exclusive. I'll do it. In, <laughs> yeah, I'll do it in six months. I gave you an exclusive. You know what I mean? Another exclusive. I don't even yeah, know yeah. we had an exclusive. I, I, yeah, yeah. Or I would have called it an exclusive clip. Four point yeah. nine million. But that's, that's a lot crazy. of. That's a lot of views. I didn't even know we did that. I had no idea. <laughs> I just my team clipped it and put it up. Yeah. I didn't know. Your clips get four point nine million. No. What's the average? You think? 
I don't know. I have to go look. We just put them up every day. Okay. I have no idea, but no, not four point nine million. You're welcome. That's man. the power, Bobby. You're, you're welcome. I'm man. saying that's carry the power of this me. attitude. It wasn't the power of me. It was the power of the story. May, may I say, as the person who is talked about in that story, I'm so glad that it was you. He spoke. That's to nice you. of you to say. Yeah. Okay. God, I, 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 I feel like you're um, reliable and that you're level headed and you're not one of those. You know, there are a lot of people who are like, "Fuck her, fuck this," and you were just super. I just really wanted to know the truth because I had never met you and I didn't, well, wasn't oh. planning on going clickbaity or anything like that. I also feel like I ask good questions. I genuinely it was great. care. It was I'm a, a good it listener. Was a, you know, dude, it felt like a Larry King vibe where you and I were just sitting there <laughs> getting real. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I want to say this to everybody else, right? Stop fucking doing that on the line, online with Kalila. She's like the be <laughs> best person in the whole fucking world. <laughs> I love and her that, so fucking well. What the fuck? That keeps going and keeps going and going and going. And it fucking drives me fucking crazy, dude. In fact, yeah. any, anybody online that wants to say anything negative, negative stop. It's stupid. You, I get you. it. She get Everyone gets shut the fuck up. Enough, <laughs> enough, 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 enough. Give her love. I will after. Oh, you're so sweet. Starfield, I'm you part of it. talked about. We talked oh, about that. Fuck, that's that so it hadn't funny. come out yet. At that point, it had. Uh, and, and it really... I. I was interested in that because I made a comment that that was your golf. Mm -hmm. I, I know so many. Look, Santino, I know all these guys that go golf. They spend a lot of money on the equipment. They're out all the time. They're drinking. They're out there for hours and hours and hours. Your golf happens to be sitting in front of a TV and playing a video game, and there's nothing wrong with it. I was there's everything side. right with it. I agree. So um, everybody listening, go to Ryan Stickler's um, – YouTube, uh, he watches special on YouTube. What's it called again? Lefty Son. Lefty Son. So go watch Lefty Son. Let's get it to past the mill. Yeah, get get past the mill. Let's, do it. Um, let's support um, Ryan Sickler's. Get 4.9 million views, guys. I, can <laughs> <laughs> I only need a couple hundred thousand. That's We've all. supported enough, Bobby. I've got kids to feed, too. I've got kids to feed, too. Come on. Yeah, it's right there. Lefty Son. <laughs> that clip's probably demonetized anyway. Everything I do is demonetized. Oh, so close. What, how funny is Shane Gillis? Oh, my God. I texted him the other day and said, I'm so proud of you and stoked for you. Kill it tonight. He said, I love you, but it's next week. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I'm so stoked. I mean, when him, I dude. did I talk about the MG? I watch yes, his you clips. Yeah, yeah, nah. Anyway, he's so, such a also, can I give you a quick fist bump here, bro? Yeah. Saw the field goal you made. Saw the field right? goal you made. I made one in Nebraska. Well, don't do that. I'm just saying. <laughs> I've done many. I did one in yeah. Nebraska with Tom. We went out right off the bus, no stretching, and, and they said their kicker kept missing. I'm like, from where? And they go, right here. And I put two through. Yeah. So good for you, because I well, saw everybody you, else shanking so, it over thank there. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate what you're saying to me. Um, but, um, you know, um, I'm just as athletic as anybody else, you know? That's what she was trying to tell you. Yeah. you think you, we probably would be all right out there against we'll Osama right. Bin Laden. If we're kicking field goals. We'd be all right in many different sects of society. I'm a survivor, dude. That's the thing. Yeah. I firmly believe that whatever we would have been thrust into, we would have taken you know, you the have same a You have a gentle face. Energy. That's nice of you, Bob. No, your face, though, is like, boo, boo. It's so gentle. <laughs> Maybe Some Different sound? <laughs> Some fan told me that they, it's one of the funniest things I think anybody's ever said about me. They said, uh, Ryan Sickler, uh, help, help me get it right here. If a nap, if an afternoon nap had a face, it's Ryan Sickler's face. <laughs> that's so true. That is fucking <laughs> That's a great. That is funny. Great. How much weed do you smoke? I mean, I smoke a lot of weed. And I don't drink at all. Get I don't high, do any so other I, Let me see. A part of, like in a 24-hour cycle, how many hours are you high, you think? Well, it depends because I'm a single dad and I have my daughter 50% of the time and I, I don't get high and stuff until she'll go to bed or whatever. So mm. half the time I'm not that high and the other half I try to make up for it. Yeah. Yeah. It must be fun to be that high, huh? I'm just a homebody. I don't go out and yeah. do anything. Like I just was in Cincy this weekend. And thank you to Cincinnati for the great shows. And um, I just feel like I'm around the people who are drinking and smoking and having a good time. And I don't need to go to a bar or a club after that. I feel like I've met that quota of being social. Mm -hmm. And then when I come home, I like to just be in my place, hang out with my, my daughter, and then do podcasts. That's it. I don't go out. I don't even do a lot of local shows. I know. I don't see you around. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen the store. Anyway, give Ryan Sickle a round of applause. Well, I have a I have a show here, part of the Netflix festival. Yeah, I'm on tour. Yeah, what, what is it? What is it? Com. 
It's right here, Los Angeles, May 12th. Netflix is a joke. I have my own show at the Bourbon Room, Ooh. so I need to sell tickets for that, and so I'm not going to do so many in-town shows. Yeah, go to the Bourbon Room. Watch uh, for the Netflix. Out. Yeah, help him out. All right, give a round of applause, everybody. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.